let's have a look at passage 2 now this passage talks about a study that has been conducted in rodents before the study it was believed that picture to object equivalence okay which means the ability to perceive that a 2d picture of an object corresponds to its 3d physical form that means if i show you a picture today tomorrow and tomorrow i show you that very object whose picture i showed you yesterday if you're able to recognize that object from the picture that you saw yesterday then you possess picture to object equivalence so earlier it was believed that it is a cognitive function of higher order right and therefore only uh, primates and some birds possessed it but a study was conducted on rodents and rodents also showed this picture to object equivalence thus challenging this view and it was also found that the rodents hippocampus an area of their brain played a very significant role in this recognition, in this visual recognition. And incidentally, in humans also, this hippocampus only contributes significantly to this representational or transitive inference. Okay. Lastly, the author concludes by saying that uh, now we know that rodents are also capable of advanced visual recognition. And in fact, they learn indirectly about actual objects by viewing images. Okay. And the author also highlights the role of hippocampus again towards the end. So this is what this passage is about. Scientific in nature and not a very difficult read. Question 7. Which one of the following is true would best complement the passage's findings? Would be consistent, would be in line with, would in a way strengthen, support the passage's findings. Right. Uh, a goes against the passage's findings. The passage says that the hippocampus of mice functions similar in a similar manner to the human hippocampus, whereas this is significantly different. So against and therefore cannot be the answer. Now, B says that the hippocampus does not play a significant role. Again goes against the passage. Our passage says that it plays a significant role. See? The role of the hippocampus may be to retrieve the memory of the picture explored during a sample session, against which the mouse can appropriately match to one of the items available during the test session. Earlier also it's written that the mouse hippocampus contributes significantly, just like that of humans, to this inference necessity for this equivalence. So it's very clearly going against what my passage says, both the options and therefore eliminate. In primates, the hippocampus plays an essential role in declarative or explicit memory. Okay. Is this discussed, declarative or explicit memory? This is not really discussed in the passage. So, uh, if something is not discussed, I can't say that it will, you know, complement. B. Mice are effective model organisms to investigate higher order sophisticated aspects of mammalian visual perception and recognition. So if they are the model organisms, that means our, this actually strengthens our study itself and therefore the study's findings. Because we have conducted the experiment on some model organisms and not uh, some organisms that can be seen as an exception to the norm or some organisms that are not ideal for testing mammalian visual perception. Right? So, D actually strengthens my study, complements my study. And easy because of the far apart options. 